Okay, this is a lesson on how to use Nero, the CD-ROM burning software, to record video and audio stuff to your CDs and DVDs. Today we're going to focus on the audio portion, on how to make an audio recording with Nero. Now my Nero is loaded down here on the bottom of my screen uh, already, but yours may not be, or maybe, maybe you got a desktop icon or whatever but anyways if you go to start and you know you go to your programs I'm sure that you can find Nero mine happens to be right there uh, Nero essentials so I'm gonna start that up and this is what the interface for Nero looks like uh, here first thing it brings up is this little screen and you can choose a category now what we want is audio so they got different categories up here but as you see the little music note that stands for audio and uh, we're gonna click that and then we want to make an audio CD so we're gonna click this icon right here the first one and it's gonna bring up a box and when it brings up a box like this it's saying okay now add the audio files that you want to burn burn to your CD and you can add files from your hard drive or from other audio CDs right now we're just gonna take the ones like that are on my hard drive. We could pretend for the Mount Joy Mennonite Church that maybe these are the recordings that you've already made. So it brings up a dialog box. Where do you want to look for the files? In your My Documents, whatever. Mine is happens to be on a drive I've already got selected, but you would browse where the recordings are on your computer, ones that you saved. And then if you click on this one, I'm going to say not a day goes by. I'm going to hold that down. Okay, now I'm going to hit the control button and keep it held. And I'm going to take River of Love and I might say uh, to be with you and heaven knows. And maybe I want to take the last one, Love Never Dies. Okay, now I, that's selecting, you know, just one or two or three, however many you want. You can control A and select all or whatever, but you're only going to fit. 70 to 80 minutes on a CD uh, I think it's 70 minutes is what they are I can't remember right now but anyways you it's gonna do this on the bottom now it for some reason Nero just automatically selects all those and then wants you to do it again and I just hit the exit button and there they are see this little green um, indicator down here you've got 80 minutes of time on my CD some CDs have 70, some have 80. Okay, uh, it's got a little red line that says there. All right, the very next thing that I need to do is just click Next. If I click Next, it's going to bring up uh, the recorder burner information. And, of course, you shouldn't have to change this. Nero should automatically find your burner and everything. But if for some reason it wouldn't, you could select where your burner is. Okay, and... If you wanted to give it a, a name, you could type in a name, like title could be uh, Sunday morning, you know, uh, Sunday, D-A-Y, Sunday uh, 12, 23, 2010, okay? And you could put text or whatever. You really don't need anything, so I'm just going to delete that or backspace there and to get rid of it now it's going to ask you how many copies do you want to make one or you can choose you know multiple copies or whatever I don't never click to verify data on the disk after burning only because I know my system works really well now yours will probably also so if it doesn't then you know we'll need to do something about that but it should be just fine so don't need to worry about clicking to verify data or anything and the next thing you do is simply click burn and Nero will start the process. Now, uh, it's going to ask for a DVD if it doesn't have one in your drive. And, of course, you would put it in and uh, you would say OK. And that's really all there is to it. I'm going to cancel this out. Uh, boarded by user. OK. And if I hit, uh, you got an option to save. OK. Or print the information. There's no need to do that. You may want to save this as a project file, 
So if you ever want to reorder CDs, you could say save. Okay, and we could call this, uh, let's just make it sample 12232010. Okay, save it somewhere. I'm going to put it on my desktop right now just for sake of argument. You could say save it. All right, then you click next. Okay, and then you click exit. Now, it says, do you want to save your project? You can say yes. And I'm going to call this, uh, there again, I'm going to put it on my desktop. And I'm going to call it 12232010. Uh, well, can't type. 2010. Okay, I'm going to say save. And voila, now the project is saved. And I can just recall it next time. But... Then Mini Nero pops up its interface again, and you have to click Exit. Okay, but we're not done, because that's how you would do making an audio CD with Nero. If uh, I so choose, there again, I double-clicked that, and I brought up my icon again of the same file I just did, but let's just not do worry about that. Let's say that we have a CD that you want to copy. Like, say you've got a CD of your favorite singer or musician and you would like to copy it. The first thing you do is put the CD in your CD drive, the one that has the music on it, and then Windows will automatically try to load it up in the player and all that, so just let it do its thing, and then when everything loads up, close it. Alright, now we're going to launch Nero again. I'm going to use a little shortcut down here on my taskbar that I have for Nero. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to do what they call a copy of CD, okay? Because we're wanting to make a copy of a pre-existing CD. So we've got favorites, data, music, video. Here we go, backup, okay? So right here, when I click the backup icon, I didn't even click it, I just, I'm highlighting over it, okay? See down here where it says copy CD? I would just simply collect that, okay? Nero is going to say, what is my source drive to copy from? What is my destination drive? They can be the exact same drive. There again, you got a box that says the number of copies. And you basically, um, you would go ahead and click the copy button. Mine's not highlighted because I don't actually have a CD in, so it doesn't have anything to highlight. So, But you would just click copy, and that's all you do. And you're done. Nero is a very good program. It's really nice. It works real easy. It's available at Marvin's shop. Uh, if you'd like to purchase Nero in the future, your laptop will have it on it because I'm going to install it for you. But anyways, I wanted to let you know that if you need computers, uh, you can contact me or my friend Marvin. I don't actually sell computers. I just basically pass the savings on that Marvin gives me to you. Um, but Marvin is, you know, where I get all of my computer software and anything to do with anything that I do with sound or anything. He builds all my machines for me. They're all custom made to my specs and they work. And he's got great service. So he's right here in Jasper. If you need his number, give me a call. And once again, thank you for calling TWS. This is Buddy Ward and I appreciate your business. For service, call 812 Six three zero eight eight six one eight one two six three zero eight eight six one. Thank you very much. Bye bye.